Julius here again at Church Service. Today I'm going to share to you 10 tips and tricks in using Microsoft Word. Number 1. Insert random text. There are times that we are in badly need of random text for the purpose of demonstration. Well, now is the best time for that. To insert random text, type in equal sign, rand, open and close parenthesis, and press enter. You can also specify how many paragraphs and sentences you want. Inside the parentheses, type in 3, 4, and press enter. We get 3 paragraphs and 4 sentences each. Number 2. Shortcut Keys To help us work faster, shortcut keys are very useful. Ctrl B for bold, Ctrl I for italic, Ctrl U for underline, Ctrl C for copy, Ctrl V to paste, Ctrl X to cut, Ctrl V to paste, Ctrl Z to undo, Ctrl Y to redo, Ctrl A to select all, Ctrl E to center a line, Ctrl R to right align, and Ctrl L to left align. Ctrl and mouse scroll to zoom in and out. Control 1 for single spacing, Control 2 for double spacing, and Control 5 for 1.5 spacing. Control Home to bring your cursor at the beginning of the document, and Control End will bring your cursor to the end of the document. Number 3. Instant Case Change To easily change the case of your text, select the text and hold on the shift key and press F3 in your keyboard. Once to go all caps, press F3 again while still holding down the shift key will go all lower case, pressing F3 for the third time to go initial caps. Number 4. Instant Bullet If you instantly want a bulleted list in your document, you can simply type asterisk by pressing Shift 8 on your keyboard. Hit space, and MS Word will create a bullet for you. If you prefer a dash, you can start with a dash, and you will have a dashed bulleted list. Number 5. Text to Speech If you like MS Word to read your document, you can do so by clicking the Customize Quick Access Toolbar. Click More Commands and choose All Commands. Look for Speak, click Add, and hit OK. Now you can select the text that you want to be read. And click Speak Selected Text. Video provides a powerful way to help you prove your point. When you click Online Video, you can paste in the embed code for the video you want to add. You can also type a keyword to search online for the video that best fits your document. Number 6. Format Painter Format Painter is useful when you want to copy certain formatting from a part of your document and apply it to other parts. For example, you want to copy the format of this paragraph, select it, click Format Painter, and select this paragraph and release the mouse. Instant! Number 7. Convert text to table. For example, you made columns and rows using tabs. You can convert them to a table instantly. Select All, go to Insert, Table, and click Convert to Table. MS Word will designate number of rows and columns for you. Just click OK and you're done. It is also good to know that MS Word allows us to do calculations in tables just like in MS Excel. Just go to Layout, click Formula, and since we are going to multiply 5 and 35 to get the total amount, replace the default formula with product by clicking down here. Inside the parentheses, type in left, since the numbers are on the left side. Then hit OK. Number 8. Reduce number of pages instantly. Let's say your document consumes 3 pages. 
having only a bit of text on the third page. If you want to shrink this down to the least possible number of pages, click Customize Quick Access Toolbar, click More Commands, go to All Commands, and look for Shrink to One Page. Click Add and click OK. Select All and click Shrink to One Page. Now you only have two pages. Number 9. Using Tab Stop If you want to create a tabulated list with ease, click this tiny icon and in here you can choose what kind of tab stop alignment you want. You can choose right tab, bar tab, left tab, and you get to choose where your next tab will stop. For example, type in item, and you want the next tab to stop one inch away. With left tab selected, click at one, and you will notice it will be marked with left tab stop. Now when you press tab, it will stop exactly where you marked it. Now you want the next stop to be a little further, and since later on you'll be entering currency, it is best to choose right align. Click at 2.5 and type in price. Using the same tab, click at 3.5 and type total. Now you can do your tabulated list with ease. Number 10. Using Clipboard If you want to copy several items from different parts in your document, it's probably a good idea to use Clipboard. Click this tiny icon to open the Clipboard. Select the paragraph that you want to copy, and notice that when you copy it, it goes to the Clipboard. Select another paragraph, and it goes there again. Now go to your Clipboard and click the items that you want to paste. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Please like, share, and subscribe.